What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As I predicted, the latest update for Fallout has indeed broken mods. I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade your game. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sacrifice my own game here and update for you guys just to show you guys how this process is done. Had a few requests from my Skyrim video, so I figured I'd do one on Fallout as well. So in your settings here, I'll show you guys, I'm on the latest, 1.1.980. You can see that by going into your settings in the game. First thing we wanna do, we wanna to go to run in Windows. And just so you guys know, this will only work for the Steam version of the game. We're gonna run a command, steam colon forward slash forward slash nav forward slash console. And we're gonna hit okay. It's gonna bring up a console window in Steam. We're gonna be typing in a few commands in order to manually download the older version of the game. These are the depot files and we're gonna to have to copy each one of these individually one at a time. There are seven of them and I will list these commands in the description so you guys can just copy and paste. Unfortunately, you can't copy them all at once. You have to do them one at a time and let them download. So we're gonna copy the first one here we're gonna hit enter. And I'm just gonna do this real quick with each one. Just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste until we've done all the commands. So there'll be seven commands here and we're gonna wait for the files to download. And this is one of the biggest mistakes I see people make on my Skyrim downgrade video, which is a very similar process. They don't wait for the downloads to fully download. So it can take some time. I sped it up for you guys. So we wanna to navigate to this folder here, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Content, App 377160. I'm gonna hit Control C and then we're gonna bring up the game directory files by going to your cogwheel and then manage and that'll bring up the root directory of where the game is installed for Steam. We're going to bring up another window side by side and get to do control V. This will take us to the folder where those depot files downloaded to. So here they are. You've got all seven and you've got your root directory here. What we're gonna be doing is going into each one of these folders and copying the data from the folder to the root directory of Fallout 4. Make sure it's the root directory. And you're gonna to have to do this with each folder. So I'm gonna speed through here real quick, do it for each folder, one at a time. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do, this is very important. There is creation kit content that was added to the game in the latest update. It will not launch if these files are in this folder, Fallout Data. We want to remove them and put them in a folder where we can find them just in case we need to use them later. Next thing we're going to need is the Fallout 4 script extender. We want to download this and we're going to just extract the files from the zip folder that we downloaded into our root directory of Fallout 4. It's gonna add an exe file here, f4se underscore loader exe. This is how we're gonna to wanna to run the game from now on. So I'm gonna show you guys here, we ran the game, went to settings, and we have successfully downgraded to 1.10.163 with the script extender, which you can see there. And the last thing we wanna do, just in case, so this doesn't happen again, is disable updates in Steam. We're gonna go to updates, only update this game when I launch it. We're gonna go back to our root directory of Fallout, and we're gonna go back a couple folders here. We're gonna go to Steam Apps, back a couple folders and we're looking for the file app manifest underscore 377160. We're going to go to properties and we're going to check this box here, read only. This will ensure that Steam will not be able to update the game under any circumstance because it makes the file read only. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.